I woke up in the middle of the night with this brilliant idea. Uh, because that's when all brilliant ideas happen is in the middle of the night. Kind of like buying the electric beater for your bathtub or, you know, and inventing uh, slippers that dust the floor or something like that. I guess those might actually work. But anyway, four o'clock in the morning, I was kind of thinking, you know, Joe Rogan can uh, make a podcast and make $30 million a year. Maybe I could do a video and if I worked really hard, make about 30 cents in my lifetime. I thought about the show Seinfeld where they made a show about nothing. I thought, well, I could talk about nothing for, I don't know, that show lasted 11 years. Maybe I could last 11 seconds, maybe 11 minutes. Uh, lasting 11 seconds, it kind of sounds like sex. So uh, anyway, I came out to my car because uh, that's my only office I have because I have kids at home and a wife that like to sleep like normal people. And I uh, made a video. And I thought it was actually kind of funny, but I didn't save it. Um, Talked about a few things in my life. I uh, talked about being a 45-year-old middle-aged man with a graying beard, um, out of work for nine years with a back injury. Um, that sucks. It almost sucks as bad as 2020. Uh, you know, life is hard. It's hard getting old. Well, it's not hard, but life is. Um, anyway, I uh, I wanted to just kind of talk and ramble on and hopefully someone will not waste their life just watching these videos but they'll actually do something with their life but if you don't have anything to do maybe you sit here maybe you get a laugh maybe you just go like man that guy's a fool something hopefully it's entertaining I don't know I've been told I'm funny but who knows could just be people lying to me to puff my ego up make me feel better about myself um, you know my grandpa and I used to laugh a lot together um, well, not when we were younger, when we were, when we, when I was younger, he would, uh, just kind of tell me, look at me and say, uh, Teddy, shut the hell up. But, uh, when he retired and he needed something to do, I guess he was bored. He talked to me and we would tell each other jokes and for his 80th birthday, uh, God rest his soul. I, I wrote a book, uh, of all the jokes that we had told each other and I titled it plumber's cracks. He had been a plumber for 40 years, and I thought that was a clever title, Plumber's Cracks. Um, speaking of books, I'm thinking about writing another book of uh, all my original jokes. Sell it for $19.95. Uh, if you're interested, you can Venmo me $19.95. I'll send you a tablet of white paper that's blank with nothing on it because I haven't come up with an original joke in my life. I've probably said an original thing every now and then, but it's usually plagiarism. Um... And, uh, you know, learned a lot from my grandpa about plumbing, uh, basically not to be a plumber. Um, you know, uh, learned a lot of trades. I worked in construction and sales. That's how I hurt my back and have been out of work. Uh, my, my dad was a welder for a period of time. He tried to teach me welding. Uh, when I didn't grab the hang of it right away, he would just take what we were building and he'd rip it out and finish it. And I learned, yeah, thanks, Dad. You're really good at welding. Uh, I don't know a lot about welding anymore. I just know it's metal that you burn together. Um, you know, speaking of burning things, last night I think I got a good contact high because the neighbor was out back smoking some weed. It's kind of nice that weed is legal in California now. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to go, like, get beat up at the pier parking lot or something. You can just sit out back and smell the others smoking it and get a contact high. Yeah, hopefully I don't get arrested, dumbass. Um... Like I said, I'm a father. I got six kids, five girls. Uh, that's right, five girls. I have two grandkids now. I'm 45 years old, two grandkids. One's a granddaughter, so another girl. I've always said that uh, girls were my answer to prayer. When I was a teenager, I prayed I'd be surrounded by women, and God answered that prayer when I was in my 30s, and they're all four feet tall. Uh, I'm a normal American guy. I like women. I love my country. Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of proud to be an American, even though some days it sucks. Some days things go wrong. It's still one of the best countries on the planet to live in. Oh, one of the best countries on the planet to live in. Whew. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Probably sounds dumb, but I'm going to actually save this video no matter how it turns out. And I'm going to post it, and I don't care if you like it or not. Hopefully you do. Hopefully you laugh. Hopefully you Venmo me 1995 for a book about nothing. Um... You know, I was born in the mid-70s, grew up in the 80s, lived through the 90s. 
used to be able to make fun of things. Things used to be funny. I don't know what's funny anymore. Um, you know, stuff coming to, becoming like a sourpuss in my old age, just a little grumpy old man. Uh, I do smile. I do laugh. I do tell some some uh, funny stories every now and then. Usually, I'm the butt of the jokes. I used to be able to laugh at different things. And now, all we can do is laugh at ourselves. Um, I guess that's okay. I deserve it. Um, speaking of the way things have changed is technology. Right now, I'm sitting out in my car shooting a video that I'm going to post to the internet. I got this computer in my pocket. Who would have ever thought of that? Yeah, Star Trek in the 1960s. Um, and uh, anyway, I can I can do this video. I can shoot this. I can post it. And I can watch the sports around the clock and the news. And, you know, I used to like the old days when you could get the news, uh, you know, pick up the paper on Wednesday, talk about sports on Thursday that you watched on Saturday or Sunday. Um, you know, it was nice to crinkle that in your hands. And, you know, it was nice being a little ignorant. Ignorance was bliss. Uh, you know, you, you didn't have to know about things right away. You didn't have to watch the news. You didn't have to know there was a tornado or an earthquake or a fire unless you saw the smoke and smelt the smelt the heat and felt the heat and felt whatever I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. It used to be nice when you didn't have to think about things 24-7. You didn't know what happened on the other side of the world, like waiting for the Pony Express to tell you the war was over nine years ago. But, uh, you know, it was nice being a little ignorant Ignorance is always bliss, so uh, stay in, stay ignorant, <clears throat> and uh, remember, tell me, Teddy, shut the hell up.